Hey everyone, this is Andrew Time. welcome to my YouTube channel. So you used to be able to run Overwatch through Parallels on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. However, since the release of Overwatch 2, it's not actually currently playable locally on any Apple Silicon Mac hardware. Therefore, the only way you're gonna be able to play it on a Mac computer is gonna be through cloud streaming. This means that none of the game or graphics processing is gonna happen locally on the computer. It's all gonna be streamed through the internet. This is gonna be similar to if you're using something like Netflix or YouTube, except that you get to control the game. And because this is all streamed through the internet this is going to heavily rely on the speed of your internet connection. So today I want to show you is one of the only ways to play Overwatch 2 on a Mac and we're going to be using a service called Boosteroid. This doesn't just play Overwatch 2, it plays a whole bunch of different games, but today I'm gonna to show you how to set up the Battle.net account, how to sign up to Boostroid, and how to get the best possible speed so that your game doesn't lag out too much. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So what I'm gonna do here is go to the Boostroid.com website, which I'm gonna leave a link to in the description. If you do click the link and make a purchase, I'll receive a small commission and you'll be helping to support this channel and the work that I do. So what we're gonna do here is click the sign in button on the top right hand side, and then we will create a new account or if you have an account already then go ahead and log in here I'm going to press create an account and I'll enter my email phone and password details so once I've signed up it's asked us to activate with our email account just go ahead and find the email and then press activate account and then we're going to log in with the account we just created and now Beasteroid is ready to go so one thing that you should definitely do is to test the speed of your internet connection before you make any purchase for Beasteroid so just click the button at the top right hand side of the screen so here it's saying that my connection is too slow but that's because I'm running this through Wi-Fi so one thing I highly recommend doing is connecting your MacBook directly to the internet using an Ethernet cable. So what I'm using is a DockTech dock, and this allows you to add various USB devices, charging, etc. But the most important thing is that we have an Ethernet cable which connects directly to our router. This is going to hugely improve our latency. If you use Wi-Fi, then you're going to experience some dropouts, some lag, and this is going to be death for cloud gaming. So make sure to check the link in the description for this DockTech hub. And then here, what we're going to do is to make sure that we disconnect connect our Wi-Fi and then if we click on network settings you can see here that we have our dock connected and that we're connected to the internet only through the Ethernet port so now that we're connected via Ethernet we're getting a decent latency of 16 milliseconds which is the recommended number as long as it's under 20 milliseconds and we're getting a bandwidth of 46 megabit per second which is over the recommended 25 megabit per second so we're getting an excellent score here as long as you get an excellent score like this then this cloud gaming service is probably gonna work great for you if you have any issues then make sure to check check out the connection improvement tips, use a cable instead of Wi-Fi, make sure your devices aren't downloading anything, and make sure that you're the only one using your internet connection. So now what we're gonna do is to click the subscribe and play button and we're gonna start a subscription. So on the left, we have the per month subscription. So that's paying month by month. So you can just cancel at any time. On the right hand side, we have the ultimate subscription, which is 749 per month. However, you're locked into one annual payment of 89 euros 89. Today, what we're gonna be doing is the monthly subscription. It's probably the best for you if you wanna test this out for the very first time. So click on this. Here we're going to accept the terms and conditions and then we're going to go ahead and make a payment. So now our payment has gone through. I'm going to be free to start using the service. So I've now gone ahead and subscribed and go ahead and start loading up games. So how about the game Overwatch 2? So we're going to go ahead and do a search for Overwatch. We're going to find here Overwatch 2. We're going to press the install and play button. So it's saying here we need to access our battle.net account. So I'm going to press OK, let's go. I'm going to go ahead and log into our battle.net account. Here we're going to accept Blizzard and use licensing agreement, press accept. Then the game is going to install. And here we're going to enter our battle.net email address and password. Here we're going to enter our security check by email. Here we're going to press review terms. Now we're logging into our account. Here it's scan for games and it's found an installation of Overwatch 2. Press close, press continue here. Click this X button to stop the tour. And basically this is the normal Windows Battle.net launcher. If I go ahead and click the Overwatch 2 button, then we have this option here to update. I'm gonna press update. Once, that's updates, and once that update's done, we're gonna go ahead and press the play button. And now you can see here we're playing Overwatch 2 over the cloud. So as you can see, the responsiveness and the graphics and the fluidity feel very good. If I press the fire button, it's pretty responsive and it feels great to play via keyboard and mouse. I can also use a controller as well, just pair up a controller with the macOS operating system and I can go ahead and fire a gun and it feels pretty good. These rockets feel quite responsive. So if you look at the actual delay that we have over cloud gaming, we're going to press the trigger button here and then the rocket will fire pretty quickly. And so it, feels pretty good. But how does it stack up in an actual online game? Unfortunately, I'm not particularly good at Overwatch 2, and I definitely felt that there was substantial lag involved that definitely hampered my game performance. So in online games where every millisecond counts, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to get that competitive edge. However, if you just wanna do some casual Overwatch 2 gameplay, then this is gonna be a great service for you. 
So anyway, that's how you get Overwatch 2 running on a Mac using cloud streaming service like Boostride. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.